Talk cars, if we can, this morning, specifically electric vehicles, EVs. Uh, the Chinese car maker Zikar, never heard of them, says its new electric vehicle batteries charge faster than any of its rivals, including industry leaders Tesla and BYD. The firm claims its upgraded batteries can be charged from 10% to 80% capacity in 10 and a half minutes using its ultra fast charging stations. Uh, all good and well, but where are those stations? Where are those cars? And are we ready for the Zika revolution? One man to cast uh, his expertise on the matter uh, is the CEO of Dubai Cars, uh, Craig Stevens, who's been kind enough to join us via Microsoft Teams this morning. Good morning to you, Craig. Good morning. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm, I'm, I'm conscious of the fact I might have been a bit uh, unfair there as asking who are they, uh, as given the fact that they are breaking records left, right and centre. But just in terms, I suppose because I haven't seen a Zika on the, on the roads yet, or maybe I have. Who are Zika, Craig? Well, you probably haven't seen the Zika on the road yet. I mean, there are a couple over here, but I mean, Zika is a pretty new brand. It's three years old. But uh, it's part of uh, Geely. I don't know if you've heard of Geely, but Geely is a very big Chinese manufacturer. And Geely also owns Volvo cars, which I'm sure you're familiar with, and uh, also owns Lotus cars. So they've got a pretty good sort of heritage in making either sports cars or quality vehicles. So, yeah, they're, they're, there's a new brand. Think of it like Toyota or Lexus. Geely is the Toyota and uh, Zika is the Lexus. Um, affordability seems to be one of the SUV, the SUV of the EV. Uh, I'm getting all wrapped up in my um, uh, anagrams there. So uh, what's going, uh, are they affordable? Are they more affordable than other EVs? Because price point has always been one of the sticking points when it comes to EVs. Yeah, I mean, it's really interesting. I mean, we at DB Cars did a extensive bit of research last year into EVs for both uh, consumers thinking about new EVs or thinking about used EVs. And when it came to new EVs, that is actually one of the biggest challenges, not only the price, but actually the amount that a consumer will lose through depreciation. Because, you know, these cars are coming to market at such a rapid rate. Technology is is increasing so quickly that as soon as you buy one car, another car comes out with a better battery or it's a faster speed or there's something better about it. Uh, And therefore, consumers have the high ticket price and they also have then the depreciation. Um, so yes, that is a challenge. Zeke is coming in at around thirty-five thousand dollars, so it's around Tesla pricing. So this is not going to answer that problem. But Zika is positioning itself as a premium EV provider, uh, and the new car it's bringing to market, which I think you'll like, Tom, is called the Double O Seven. I mean, that is a very <laughs> name for a car. Why has no one patented that one in the past? Um, I thought this morning, I actually did some research. Surely someone has done that before, but they haven't. So they know in 007. Missing a trick there, that's for sure. Um, right, so affordability is one of the um, sticky points, but as is their claim for super fast charging. I mean, again, that's one of the question marks that has hung over the EV market. Are they going to solve it? They're not going to solve it, uh, but they are on their way to solving it. This is part of the solution that that we need to see. I mean, again, if we go back to the survey, and and our survey results are pretty standard with with industry survey results. I mean, apart from cost and depreciation, it's around range anxiety and and battery. And, you know, I think anyone that comes to market that can improve that for the consumer. So obviously getting it faster is fantastic, but to get it faster, you've got to get the network, You've got to get the public access points, um, and that's a lot of work for one manufacturer to do. And, and you know, actually, I don't know if you remember, but last year, uh, or it might have even been this year, you know, uh, Musk pulled the uh, the plug on his charging division. You know, he saw this as a very expensive uh, investment, uh, and so it's it's let's say more than Zika to, to solve this problem. But look, I think you know, dealing with that that problem of fast charging dealing with the problem of range anxiety, dealing with the problem of depreciation are the three things that not only the car manufacturers, but the industries that support car manufacturers and governments need to think about to ensure you know that we can increase the, the penetration of EVs. Yeah, and you, you're right to point out on the sort of infrastructure, the network as well. And again, that's one of being, being one of the concerns for here in the UAE. I did notice on my latest uh, visit to Mall of the Emirates, that a couple more uh, Tesla stations, charging stations, have been put in in the parking area there. But that's not going to solve 
um, the sort of EV revolution. And again, is this, I mean, a Zika, a sort of car that can go into a Tesla charging station or do you, would you have to have your own charging stations? No, I mean, t- Tesla have uh, made their charging stations universal. So, you know, anyone can use a, a Tesla charging uh, station. So uh, there has to be collaboration around this. Yeah. Um, but I mean, Zika actually haven't haven't confirmed how this is going to work and how this integrates with other charging stations. So we don't know yet. And actually, the claims they've made are just claims. I mean, they actually haven't been confirmed yet. So um, it's some exciting news. But look, I think what we're going to hear pretty much every week, every month, is this kind of story. Someone's doing it faster. Some battery is retaining uh, charge better. Um, you know, if you think about the Chinese market, they sell around 1.8 million cars a month, which is eight times the whole market here, annual sales. And last month, 50% of their car sales were either EVs or hybrids. So you can see why this technology is coming from China, because they, they are way ahead of the US and anyone else in the world when it comes to EV penetration. And that sort of prompts my next question, because... It seems to me, uh, as a non-EV driver at the moment, but might be sitting on the fence at present, is that unlike your sort of traditional uh, car market at the moment, the EV thing is moving very quickly. It seems that every single week uh, there is a newer, quicker, faster, more affordable EV be on the market. So why would I buy? Well, and, and that, that goes exactly to the heart of one of the challenges with the consumers. So um, I think, you know, we, we've learned as uh, consumers that buying tech, not new technology early is fun, but expensive. Because, you know, as soon as you buy your new iPhone, you know there's 3,000 people trying to build the next iPhone, uh, which is going to be better than the one you've got already. And I think that will slow down. I mean, we are seeing rapid technology advancements, and I think we will see that for the next four or five years. But this is one of the challenges that consumers recognize that. And the second thing is, you know, when an EV becomes a used EV, so a second-hand EV, they are the slowest-moving vehicles in the market to sell, and they lose the most in depreciation. So unless we get a healthy used EV market uh, and and the uh, rapid technology uh, slows down, I think that's always going to be in the back of consumers' minds is that I'm, I'm spending $35,000 on this car. I know I'm going to lose fifteen, twenty thousand $20,000 in the next two or three years. Big news coming out of China from one manufacturer. Will others follow? They're all, they're, they're all follow. I mean, this, this, they've got to solve this problem, right? So that's what I'm saying. I think we get every... I mean, you could have me on next week and I'm sure we're going to talk about <laughs> someone else that's in something fantastic. Uh, I mean, whether anyone be able to be the name 007, I, I, I doubt. I think they've, they've just cracked that. But I think from a battery technology point of view, I just think we're going to constantly see good news stories coming out now. Um, so I think it's a very exciting market. We're definitely going to move to EVs. How quickly we move to EVs, I think we've got to solve more than just battery charging. I think it's everything around the ecosystem, depreciation, uh, the used EV market. Uh, and just getting people generally comfortable with the fact, you know, that range anxiety can be dealt with if there's enough charging stations. The name Stevens, Craig Stevens, uh, CEO of Doobie Cars. Craig, bless you. Enjoy the rest of your summer. We'll catch up very, very soon. Our thanks to Craig for joining us live on the line.